Hi, I'm Dr. Connie Gian. As most of you may know, the subject of autoimmunity is near and dear to my heart. We're currently in the midst of an autoimmune epidemic with incidents of autoimmune conditions which have increased threefold over the last 50 years, and they affect over 75 million Americans. They're also the third leading chronic illness in the United States. So autoimmune conditions are a costly disease, totaling around 100 billion annually in healthcare costs alone. I've experienced the detrimental effects of an autoimmune disease firsthand in the last year of my doctoral studies in physical therapy. After experiencing so much frustration while seeking out effective treatment, I now specialize in autoimmune treatments and prevention and at my center. The most difficult thing for me and the patients that I treat is that it takes an average of five to six doctors and up to five years to receive an actual diagnosis. Additionally, one out of three autoimmune patients also have another disease, typically another autoimmune condition that they have to battle. And the worst experience is the fear of the unknown, all while your health is quickly declining. You're sick to the point of being bedridden, yet the doctors just shrug their shoulders and pass you on to the next doctor. And this goes on for months and sometimes years. Symptoms of autoimmunity, and in my case, lupus, can range from mild to severe, and they're different for every patient. So why are autoimmune conditions so hard to diagnose? Let's first discuss what autoimmune diseases are. There are many types and subtypes of autoimmune disease. They can affect essentially any organ in the body, such as thyroid, kidneys, heart, lungs, ovaries, gut, and the brain, etc and involve every system in the body, such as endocrine, digestive, reproductive, cardiovascular, nervous, musculoskeletal, with the focus being on our immune system. Scientists know in part that genetics can have an impact on the cause of autoimmunity. However, more research is showing that most are idiopathic in nature. They truly don't understand the disease, but respect the dangers of the disease so much so that the treatments are centered around severely suppressing the immune system. While suppressing the immune system may dodge the bullet of real damage, it has secondary effects such as cancer and other diseases. So let's talk specifically about autoimmunity. Auto means self and immunity means attack. Therefore, it's self-destructive phenomenon. The body works hard to defend itself against the substances that threaten your health, such as allergens, toxins, infection, or sometimes food. In a healthy and robust state, this is the way of life, and most of you do fine. The theory of autoimmunity is that somehow you're the host who become compromised and weakened over time and the opportunity for the toxins or allergens to invade your body become easier. And over time, as your enemy is strengthened inside you, you become weakened. So our line of defense is typically the gut. The term leaky gut refers to when our defense line becomes weak due to antibiotic usage, poor diet, stress, and lack of sleep. These degrade the tight junctions of the gut lining, resulting in gaps that make it easier for the intruders to enter our body. And once the toxins start entering, our bodies react by cranking up our immune system to increase the white blood cells, red blood cells, and inflammatory cytokines, which defend and protect our cells through phagocytosis, which is eating and destroying the enemy. The war against the toxins becomes prolonged and cumulative over time. The debris left behind, which are part of your cells, now trigger our immune cells to tag these fragments of our DNA as enemies to be destroyed, and this is where the body begins forming antibodies against our own cells. Our body truly becomes crazy and now self-destructive. And conventional treatments are not really focused on treating the root cause. 
Rather, they are focused on putting a temporary band-aid on the issue by suppressing our immune system, which can cause cancer, or providing various powerful anti-inflammatories, which often further damage our gut lining, our first line of defense. See how it is a vicious cycle? Let's switch gears now and talk about the 10 signs that may indicate that you have an autoimmune disease. Number one is joint pain, muscle pain or weakness, even a tremor. Severe weight loss, insomnia, heat intolerance, and rapid heartbeat. Reoccurring rashes or hives, sun sensitivity, a rash across your cheeks and your nose. Foggy memory, difficulty focusing is one. And then mental fatigue, general fatigue weight gain, or cold intolerance. Severe hair loss, patches of baldness, and cold sores on your skin and inside of your mouth. Some digestive discomfort, gut pain, blood or mucus in your stool, or diarrhea. Extreme dry eyes, mouth, or skin. Or sometimes even paresthesia, like numbness and tingling, or raw pain on the skin with some redness. And lastly, unexplained miscarriages, blood clots, uterine cysts, pelvic pain. So how do you improve and heal your autoimmune disease, or in my case, lupus? Well, it's really simple. If you have any of the symptoms above, you'll be able to admit that some part of your life is seriously out of balance. Whether you're overly stressed, eating a poor diet, unable to sleep, or severely sedentary. So you need to get your body back in balance. Before we delve into what to do, please be patient with yourself. Most often, changing a diet or beginning an exercise regimen can be hard. Just admit that. So rather than jumping right into making large accomplishments, start slow and set small wins. We tend to overestimate what we can get done in a short time and underestimate what we can get done in a long time. Set some long-term goals and follow these general guidelines. Number one, eat real foods. Try to avoid packaged foods that, contain, um, that come in a box at the grocery store. Focus instead on real meats, vegetables, fruits, fish, etc. Number two is cook with healthy oils. Extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, or ghee, which is clarified butter. Number three is drink half of your body weight in ounces of water daily. For example, if you weigh 150 pounds, drink 75 ounces of water per day. Carry a water bottle with you everywhere you go. Number four is park far when you go places and get in the habit of walking a little bit. Number five is take a good source probiotics. We've got some great ones that I can recommend. Number six is take vitamin D, as most of us who have autoimmune conditions don't get much sun and are severely deficient. Number seven, take a good quality mineral supplement, which includes magnesium, calcium, zinc, selenium, etc. Number eight is take a walk outside every day. Even if it's only 10 minutes, just get started. It will change your brain chemistry and have a healing effect in your body. Number nine, take a look at your relationships. Often, those that we hang around the most may be the most toxic. Set some boundaries and eliminate unnecessary negativity or else it'll perpetuate your stress. Number 10, just breathe. Close your eyes and take a deep, deliberate breath in and slowly breathe out. Try to do this throughout the day. Taoists often say, a journey of a thousand miles begins with that one step. So count your wins every day, even if they're small, and understand that you have, you'll have resistance. Resistance is a natural phenomenon, and it may come from your mind or your closest friends and family around you. We're creatures of habit, and if you threaten the status quo, you'll receive lots of resistance. So be ready for that and understand that it's just a part of doing something worthwhile. 
and preparation will set you up for success. And I would really appreciate it if you share, leave a comment, or like this post. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.